All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. So as this young fighter makes the walk, you gotta think he's thinking strategically about how to get this fight to the ground to set up his guard passing abilities. Great technique, plus athlete as well, and really a guy who cuts the guard with the best of them to set up a dominant position on the ground. I think a lot of opponents are sort of freaked out by just how quickly this guy transitions between positions on the ground. No doubt his opponent has prepared. Sometimes you just can't simulate an athlete like this in training. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 35 years old, with big differences in height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a juicy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kabul, Afghanistan. Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Paul Russia. Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Here we go. Nice one. Oh, oh straight right. Trying to pass here. Oh, he got reversed. He's got a half guard here. He's looking for an arm triangle. It looks like this submission's locked. Now he's going to rotate to put pressure. That arm triangle was very close, but he's free. 
Now he secured side control. And they clinch. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Lands a trip and gets him on the ground. He's gonna try to take the back. He's got side control. Trying to pass here. Pummels under, maintains the under. Oh, how about the strength on that hip toss, Joe? Gets him down. Excellent movement here on the ground. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder, throws his other leg over. He wants to lock it in place. He's got the knee over the ankle, pins down. Not wow. tapping out tonight. This is intense. He's working from side control. Big he right hand the there. Right hand there as well. He's moved back into side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He got tagged there. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. On top, look at that pass. Reversal, very nice. Just over two minutes, round one. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Under two minutes now to go. the back, now going for the rear naked choke. He's got an arm under the chin, looking for that choke, traps that arm, very nicely done. That rear naked choke was close, but he's out. He's got side control. Trying to spin to the back. Inside control once again. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Full mount. Sweet reversal. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Moves into half guard. Final minute of round one. Beautifully executed sweep. And he's trying to pass. Executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Into side control again. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Hits the reversal and north south. Excellent movement on the ground here, constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Posturing up here. Elbow. Five minutes in the book. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. Here we see some beautiful technique executing this submission, but doesn't quite pull it off. And here is one more submission attempt. It looked very tight, but couldn't quite get it. Go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. All right, second round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. That was a nice jab. Here's a single attempt. Single. Oh. 
Slides him over, and nice reversal here. He's mounted him. Look at this. He's out of it. Passes from half guard, now into side control. Into full guard. Now he gets the full mount again. His opponent's got his back here. And back to the mount. Oh, nice elbow. Good shot to the head. He postures into place. He's back to full mount again. Nasty ground and pound elbow. Oh, elbows landing in bunches. Now you gotta cover up. Nice hammer fist. Looks like he's going after the Gogo Plata here. It looks like he's got the Gogo Plata locked up. Lean forward, pulling on the head. That's it, oh, that's it. Is. He got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here it is one more time in a different angle. Absolutely textbook, Gogo Plata, shin underneath the neck, locked in tight for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner.